It is a special privilege to work with an international staff composed of officers, non-commissioned officers and civilians from all member states coming from all services and branches. Such a mix brings exactly the wide range of expertise and knowledge the EU military staff needs to provide military advice to the European External Action Service and to the EU Military Committee. It is a priority to deepen our interaction with all actors of the European Union comprehensive approach. In doing so, we support both the High Representative and the Chairman of the EU Military Committee. All stakeholders of our common security and defence policy are indispensable partners in this effort, alongside with the European Defence Agency. We also play our role in bringing the military dimension into a broad range of partnerships with states and organisations. In this context, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, United Nations and African Union deserve particular attention. In the years to come, we, the EU military staff, will have to face new and multifaceted challenges. It is only in a common effort, as a team, that we will be able to give our best to the common objective, contribute as military to enabling the European Union and particularly the European External Action Service to achieve sustainable impact in an ever more volatile and complex global environment. In coming here, I found excellent groundwork laid by my predecessors, by the European External Action Service and by the EU military staff. Building on that ground, I intend to further enhance the EU military staff's responsiveness to the needs of the European External Action Service, the EU Military Committee and other European actors. To that end, we deal with operations and missions, concepts and capabilities, information and partnerships. Operations and missions are the strongest and most visible tools the military can offer to the wider context of the European Union's external action. It is in directing all its instruments, including the military, towards a comprehensive objective that the European Union will bring about change. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all those engaged in our current operations and missions for their dedication and their effort. The EU military staff has to offer military expertise at all levels, including the very early stages of planning. This requires continuously adapting and improving its own capacities. For military strategic planning, as well as for capability planning, we need to listen carefully to all our partners in the system and we should explain the specific character of military contributions to the broad set of actions of the European Union. The European Union has the unique ability to use a wide range of very different actors and resources able to achieve comprehensive and sustainable results wherever the European Union takes an initiative. All considered, including the very early stages of this common endeavour, the specific military expertise and well-adapted capabilities can help improve the outcome. In this spirit, the EU military staff should be able to contribute to situational awareness, conflict prevention, crisis management and post-conflict stabilization, to name just the largest areas. Our efforts to enhance education and training are essential to constantly adapt methods and skills to an ever-changing environment. There would be no satisfactory achievement without the broad range of contributions of our member states' armed forces. To sustainably focus our capabilities to the task and to enrich our knowledge about Member States' armed forces' specificities, the EU Military Committee and the European Defence Agency are indispensable places of dialogue. Our wide range of external partnerships offer a whole spectrum of opportunities, 
in terms of experience, cooperation and contributions. All forms of cooperations we can achieve with North Atlantic Treaty Organization, United Nations, African Union and third states are of very high value for the European Union. The EU military staff contributes to the constant development of these relationships. I have explained to you how the military bring their specific share to the large and comprehensive effort of the EU. The EU military staff has the privileged role to facilitate the most effective use of member states' military contributions to that effort. <laughs>